This is the fourth video in a series where we'll make a wave defense game. But first, in the last video, people were asked to comment and vote on a poll to decide on what we do in this video. And they picked leveling up and power ups. So let's get started. The very first thing that we need is a leveling bar. And thankfully, GDevelop has one in the asset store that will match this game's style already. We just need to put it on a different layer so it's above all of the gameplay. Alright, now we need to make some scene variables for leveling up. The first ones of course being the current and maximum experience for leveling up, and then all of the stats we want to actually level up. And we'll start with something small for the maximum experience points. And now we need to link the resource bar object with those stats. And there we go. Now it's 0 out of 10 because 10 was the amount of experience you need to actually level up. But now we need experience points. And for that I'm going to create a new sprite object and just make a little white dot to use as the experience point. That is way too big. That's much better, okay. And now we'll make it so that the ghosts drop these whenever they die. There we go. And then we need to be able to pick them up to use them as EXP. Let's see if that worked. There we go. Now when we kill a ghost and get close enough to the experience point, it adds it to our scene variable which is used to control the exp bar. But running this every single frame would be a lot, so we're going to change this to this and this. So it's only doing that whenever we actually run into any XP point. And to fix this at the beginning of scene, I'm just going to change the default values of the bar. So now they line up. But that's not very fun to look at, so we're going to change it so that the points go to you whenever you get close enough, and then when they get really close to you, they'll actually get picked up. And there we go. Maybe a little faster though. So now we're able to level up. But what happens when we actually reach the max level? Currently nothing, but I'm going to create a new layer with some buttons on it to spend points whenever we level up. Again, adding the bitmap font that I added in earlier. And because people have been asking, this font, plus all the assets, will be available in a folder in the description from now on. So you can actually follow along yourself.
All right, so now we have a text object that says power, fire rate, and accuracy that we can modify when we update the stats and buttons that we can actually use for those stats. One for power, one for fire rate, and then one for accuracy. And then for accuracy, we actually need to tank the accuracy to make it make sense. We'll change this to 20 and see how that does. Zero would be perfect accuracy, 20 is off by an angle of 20. That might be a bit too much, but it's fine for now. Alright, so we'll hide the level up layer, and then in the event sheet, make it so that when the current EXP level hits the max, we'll pause the game, show that layer, and then when they spend their point on that thing, go back to the game again. I always set it to greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to, just in case something happens where you pick up two with the exact same frame or something like that. It's just safer that way. All right, so now when we hit the maximum number for the XP, we'll set the time scale to zero, show the level up layer, and then set the current EXP back to zero so we start over again. And while we're doing this, it's a good idea to have the scaling happen here. So we'll change the scene variable for the max EXP to something like twice of what it currently is. There we go. So now when this happens, well let me just show you actually. Oh. <laughs> I need to be good at the game to actually show you, I guess. And there we go. Now we've... Now the game is frozen, and this should fix itself once that's done. And we can press one of these buttons. No, we can't. We can't do that yet. Um... Okay, so I need to add this part into the actual event sheet. And while I'm at it, I need to add a darkening layer here so it's not... this bright. Okay, so I used a shape painter object to make a black rectangle the size of the screen and then change its z-order to be lower than everything else on that layer. And we'll change this to 180 and that way it won't be completely black, it'll be transparent and you'll be able to see the background. So the next thing we'll do is make it so that the buttons actually do something, and when you press them, you go back to the game with the improved stats. I'll put all of the buttons into a group to make it easier. Now because we have the button state extension installed, you can see two of them. But this is for the panel sprite buttons, and this is for the button state extension. So now when one of these buttons gets pressed, we'll hide the level player, change the scale back to 1, and then update the bar. But now for the actual leveling up part. So because we have the... Nope. The gun object with the behavior on it for fire bullet, this is what we'll be updating. So we'll be changing the fire cooldown rate and the angle variance whenever we change the level of the stat. But also, we're going to do that for when we hit the enemy. So right now it's applying one point of damage to the enemy, but we're going to change that to the stat for power 
so that when they get hit, they take more than one hit worth of damage. So for the accuracy, I've changed the angle variance, which is how much it'll miss by, by multiplying it by the angle variance, which I got using the expression builder, times 0.9. So each time this gets picked, it's going to hack off 10% of the current value, which means as this level gets higher, the accuracy getting added to it is going to be less and less as it gets closer and closer to zero, which is perfect accuracy. And then I did the same thing for the firing cooldown, which is the fire rate. So we'll be changing the stat number in the scene variables so we can use that for displaying it, but the actual change is happening here in this second action. Whereas for the power variable, we're actually going to change that up above. So right here where the enemies are taking damage, get rid of that one and change it to scene variable for power. So now they'll be taking the power as your damage instead of one. And the last thing I want to do is change it so that the stats actually change in the level up page. So for that, I'm going to go here again, copy this, come back here and go to bitmap to change the text of the bitmap object stats equal quotations and this is going to get a little messy but bear with me so the one quotations power so we got the power stat plus power so now it's going to show power to here plus this variable for power and then we'll add a plus here and another quotation. There we go. And so now it's this and then down here we'll do the same thing. I'll just copy all of this, paste it, paste it, get rid of the plus on this end because this will be the end of it and the quotation. And then this will be changed to, this is the fire rate. And the accuracy is being changed to the accuracy. There we go. So now power, fire rate, accuracy, showing the variables for power, fire rate, and accuracy. Let's see if that worked. Um. That is not how it's supposed to go. That accuracy is quite a bit worse. Okay. Ah. Set to and set to. There we go. Okay. Let's try that. Okay, yeah. There we go. Oh. <laughs> and the power is by default at zero, so. Let's change that as well. We'll set all of these to one to start with. Okay. And I'm actually going to add a cheat down here. I usually put my cheats down at the bottom of the screen. So I'll change it so that if the K key is pressed, we'll change the current variable to variable scene variable uh, max exp. So we'll just set it straight to max EXP when I press K. Okay. So when the game starts, I'll pick accuracy, press K, and we'll level up instantly. I'll press fire rate, and now it's changed to 20. So on the second level, it'll take 20 to level up. I'll press K again, 
upgrade power, 40, and now it's 2, 2, and 2, upgrade power again, and when I shoot this ghost it should die in one hit. Yeah. And that's because now the power is level 3, so we're doing 3 points of damage when we hit them. And the fire rate should be up, let's try to crank that up. Oh yeah, that's way faster. Accuracy is a little bit too much, I think, though. I may need to turn that down a bit more. Okay, I just noticed that the background darkening layer isn't showing up, so I need to fix that. And the problem is that it's drawing it right here, but it's only doing that once because this is only true for one frame. And if we go to the paint shaper object, no, not for transition, for darken, uh, it is clearing the rendered image between each frame. So it's only doing it once for a single frame and then disappearing. So I'm going to turn this off and turn that off because I don't want it relative to the actual position of the object in scene. And I'm going to change this to be at the beginning of scene instead so it does it once at the beginning of scene and then doesn't clear it away afterwards. And we'll see if that works. So now if I press K, huh. Oh, because the base layer is zoomed in, and this is zero, so that's why it's pulled over to the left. Okay, so I need to change this to the level up layer. There we go. Because there's two different cameras, the, the base layer is zoomed in, and the level up layer is not zoomed in. There we go. So now it's the whole size of the level up layer's camera. And if I press power, it goes away level up again it's there great I might change this to be down here though might change this to here instead of here so when I level up yeah it does it automatically and it's already down to zero yeah there we go I know that I said this would include power-ups as well but looking at the time this is already going to be a long one if I let it go. So I'm going to cut it off here and ask you what you want to see next. Do you want to see the power-ups or more enemies added to the game or something else? Let me know in the comments below and I'll read through those and that will decide what we do next. But for now, check out this video.